Hi everyone. Good evening. Hi Katia, Rafa, Marisela. Hi teacher. Good night. Hi. Good night. Hi. Are you about to end your dinner? A cenar va, Marisela. Yes. Ah, okay. Enjoy your meal. It's okay. Good. Okay. Provecho. Gracias, teacher. <laughs> and Katia, did you eat pupusas? Yes. Ah, okay. What are your favorite pupusas? Mm. Cheese pupusas? Ayote. Ah, you like ayote. Ah, okay. Really? Why? For me, it's delicious. <laughs> Okay, you are the first person that I hear saying that ayotes, pupusas are the best ones. So that's new for me. <laughs> and Rafa, are you there, Rafa? Are you already at home? Or maybe he's not there yet. I'm going to take the attendance really quick and then we will continue. So. <laughs> Ok, voy a decirlos a todos, aunque sé que solo hay dos. Back. Ok, so Daisy Yesenia, Doris Elizabeth, Iris Joana, Jennifer Marcela, José Mario, Katia Gabriela. Present. Thank you. Eh, Lisette del Carmen, Marisela del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Mauricio Castaneda, Minet Rivera, Nemias Regalo, Nelson Alberto. Nelson René, Rafael Antonio, René Guardado, Rina Espinosa, Rosy Meléndez, Vladimir Antonio Rodas, Yanira Cepeda, Zulma Lorena. Ok, now we can go ahead and continue. So, Marisela and, and Katia, we're going to start with a vocabulary activity. I'm going to share something here. Just give me one second. I'm going to share a word. Um, okay, so it is in, interesting. Okay, what do you have to do with the word? interesting you have to create as many words as you can utilizando la palabra interesting que ven acá tienen que crear nuevas palabras con las consonantes y, y con las uh, vocales que vean solo pueden utilizar las letras que están ahí para crear nuevas palabras si no está ahí la consonante o letra no se puede no se puede usar Okay, only the letters that you see in the word interesting. Solo pueden utilizar las que ven ahí. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. No sé si ustedes ya encontraron alguna. Ya pudieron crear una nueva. Marisela, no. Mm, rest, no sé si. Ah, ajá, esa podría ser una. Rest, ya llevas una. Entonces, en el tiempo que yo les voy a dar, tienen que crear el mayor número de palabras. But we will do it in team. Vamos a hacerlo en equipos. So let me see. Vamos a usar el grupo de WhatsApp y vamos a utilizar el chat. Okay, so let me see. We have Mario. Hi, Mario. Marisela, Rosy, and Zulma. Hi. Okay, Mario, work with Katia. And Marisela, work with Rosy and Zulma. Por Marisela, no sé si va a comer su, su cena. Come y después. No, no hay problema. Ok. Continúe. So, ready? You have two minutes. Go ahead. Two minutes. Y Katia y Marisela in the WhatsApp group. Sorry, Katia y Mario in the WhatsApp group. En Marisela... Eh, Rosy Zulma in the chat. Hi, Rina. Welcome. Estamos haciendo Hi, una competition, Rina. Hello. 
Tiene que crear no. nuevas palabras utilizando solo las letras que ve en la palabra interesting. You have two minutes. Usted va con Katia en Mario. In two minutes, you have to send okay. the same the, in the WhatsApp group. Y las manda al grupo de WhatsApp porque no le funciona su teclado, right? Ok, yeah. Ok. You have two minutes. Bueno. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, time's up. Send me the words. Send them, uh, Katia, Mario, and Rina, you can send them in the group. And Maricela, ya la mandó, verdad? Maricela, in, in the chat. Rosy. Hmm? Only two. Okay. And let me see in the group. Katia, okay. Press, singer, seat, and ring. You have four. Okay, good. Rina, could you create other ones? And Zulma, are you there? Zulma? Está por ahí. Zulma, no. Yo ¿Sí? dos envié, teacher. Really? Ah, uh, let me see. Ok. Solo... Hola. Hi. Hola. Hi, estoy. Ah, ok. <ríe> ok. Es... No sé si ya entendió, Zulma, la dinámica. ¿Cómo funciona? Sí, he encontrado... He armado Singer y Rush. Y Rush. Ah. ¿Cuál? Ok. Rosy, only the letters that you have in the word interesting. Rosy solo puede utilizar las letras que están en la palabra interesting. No se pueden utilizar otras. Solo las que están ahí. Ok. Let's try again. Pero creo que... Este fue empate, si no me equivoco. You have one, two, la que, y dos que creo eh, Maricela. Ok, so we have a tie, empate. Ok, now another word. Awesome. Awesome. Solo pueden utilizar A, W, E, S, O, M, or E. Solo esas. No more. You have two minutes to create new words. Okay, you have two minutes. Hello, Rafa. 
Chapa se le está yendo la señal. One more minute. Hi, Rafa. Teacher. Hmm, Rosy. Y no importa si desordenamos las letras. No importa. Mm -mm, no problem. Y porque yo si pongo we. Ah, uh -huh. correcto. Se es puede. Correcto. Yes. La idea es que okay. cree nuevas, no importa el orden. It doesn't okay. matter the order. Rafa, hello, do you hear me? I don't hear you, Rafa. Three, two, one, time's up. Okay, Katia, eh, Rina, Mario, sent me the sentence, the words by chat, by the WhatsApp group. And then Rosy, Marisela, Zulma, in the Zoom chat. Uh, solo que Rosy sería we, just one e. Ajá, ok, sí, so, one, two, three, four, four words. And the other group, ya las mandaron al chat. Hi, Rafa, hoy sí, hoy sí lo escucho. Tenía problemas con su connection. Ahora ya no le oigo, quizás son los, los audífonos. Ok, so now we have one, two, three, four. Okay, sorry, ¿de quién es el número que termina en 72, 79? Rina. No. Sí, es mío. Ah, ok. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. You have five words. Five. And the other team has one, two, three, four, five. Ok, otra vez. It's a tie. <laughs> wow. Ok, so this is the last one. Vamos con la última. Hello, Rafa. Now I hear you. Yes. Okay. I, I hear you now. Excellent. Expensive, guys. You have two minutes. That's the last one. Two minutes. One more minute, one more minute.
Three, two, one, time's up. Time is over. Okay, please send them to me by chat. Send the words. Hello, Nelson. Good evening. Hi, Daisy. Good evening. Thank you. We were doing um, an activity, but we just finished. Okay, so let me take a look to the chat. Okay. And so you have three. No, wait. Katia, only one, solo una. <laughs> Rina, and you? Oh, Rina, Ben. Ya las, ya las envié. Mm, what is exhib? What is that, Rina? Excesivo me salió. No sé ah, si excessive. <laughs> excessive. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Sorry. Excessive. Excessive. It will be like that. Ok. All right. Thank you. Well, it's kind of difficult, right? It's a little bit difficult because you can only use what you have there. But thank you. Thank you for trying. So now, well, congratulations, first of all. Uh -huh. We will continue in the book. We have a new topic to study today that it's going to be interesting. Okay, so what is the, the objective or the goal of the class that you can provide instructions for activities in English? That is what you are going to learn, how to give instructions or orders in English. We will start with question number one. Guys, are you familiar with the word memos, memorandums? Are you familiar with that word, memorandums? Si estamos familiarizados con la palabra memorandum? Yes, no? Katia, no. And you, Rafa, do you know what a memorandum is? Yes. What is it? What is a memorandum? It is uh, new instructions or new mm -hmm. information secrets. Uh-huh. It's like a, a written message, right? With instructions. A uh, written message with instructions. Okay, so we can put it like that. Okay, so in your case, Rafa, how often do you write memos? How often do you write memos, Rafa? Uh, I... What is it, okay, teacher? Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, we. I I write never. Ah, uh, I never, I never write. I never. Write I memos. Write. Option number two: I don't write memos. That is another possibility. Okay, thank you, Rafa. And Daisy, what about you? How often do you write memos? Are you here, Daisy? Yes. Yes, Daisy, tell me. How often do you write memorandums? Rosy, I don't hear you. No le escucho, Daisy. No sé si hay problema con el audio, but I don't hear you. Uh, 
Hola. Hi, now I hear you. Sí. Um, memorando, uh, I don't write. You don't write memorandums. Okay, all right, thank you, Daisy. Maricela, a memorandum is like a message. Es un mensaje que se envía, como algo, como una instrucción que se tiene que recordar. A veces lo envían. Okay. Así que ese es un memo, una como instruction. And you, Maricela, do you, do you write memorandums? No, I write memos. You don't. Okay, all right. And Nelson, question number two. Do you often give instructions to other co-workers? Oh, Nelson is not here anymore. Katia and you, do you often give instructions to other co-workers? Mm -hmm. Yes. Why? Uh, uh, no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. If you want to, I can give you time to elaborate or to organize your, your ideas. Te doy un tiempo para que lo ordenes. Es, es como una instrucción, ¿verdad? Uh, uh -huh. de, del sistema, ¿verdad? Cuando eh, se programan cosas nuevas, ¿verdad? Yo les enseño a ellos. Entonces, um, les doy las instrucciones, ¿verdad? Me lo enseñan um, a mí y yo tengo que enseñarle a los demás. Ah, ok. Maybe you can say that I give instructions to program to program materials or products. I don't know, machines, systems, I don't know what it is that you, that you program. Uh, es como datos, o sea, compras, órdenes. Ah, okay. Maybe you can say that you, you give instructions to Input information in the system. Para input, que es como introducir información en un sistema. Input. Ok. Ok, thank you, Katia. Enrita, what about you? Do you often give instructions to your coworkers? I don't, I don't give instructions to uh, coworkers. Why not? Por qué no? Why not? Es un medito. Um, tal vez instrucciones no no es que de hacer tal vez, tal vez información nada más así de de algo que nos han dicho, pero no es que yo uh -huh. le dé. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Thank you, Rina. And Zulma, what about you? Es un medito. Hola. Do you give instructions? Do you often give instructions? Yes, yes I do. Instruction, uh, uh, auxiliar the production. Ah, uh -huh, okay. How often? Every day? Oh. Uh, every day, uh, via, via WhatsApp and verbal. Ah, okay. You can say in an oral, sorry, via WhatsApp and in an oral way. In verbal, verbal. Aha, uh -huh. correct. Yes. Verbal instructions. Okay, thank you, Sulma. So let's continue here. We're going to continue with the conversation to practice your pronunciation. This one is, is short, as you can see here. We have Marcia and Luke, please send this package, package, package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. 
Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Remember, absolutely. <laughs> and this one, package. Package. Okay, so let's start with Mario. Mario and Katia. Mario, you are Luke. Katia, you are Marcia. Okay. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Did you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo sticker, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new intern. Absolutely. Good pronunciation, both of you. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, Maricela and Rina. Maricela, you are Marcia. And Rina, you are Luke. Okay. okay. Please send these packets. Yes, mine. My, um, do you need anything else? Actuality. Actually, uh, actually, mm -hmm. just please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away, give me one of those memos, Chica, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, I look, please, supervisor the new interns. Absolutely. Very good, Trina. Uh -huh. That's the pronunciation. Thank you, Maricela. This one, Maricela, is pronounced supervise. Can you say it Super again? Supervise. 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 Yes. And this one is mom. Yes, mom. Ma mom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Let's continue with Rosy and Zulma. Rosy, you are Marcia. Zulma, look. Please send this package. Uh, actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new days for the general meeting. Why? Why him? Give me one of the those memory speaker, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new intern. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Sulma, and thank you very much, Trossi. This one, remember, is here. That is the, the way we pronounce that one, here. Okay, so let's continue with, let me see, Rafa and Daisy. Rafa, you are Luke, and Daisy, Marcia. Please send this package. Yes, mom. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Why? Wait, wait. Give me one of those memo speaker, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new inters, inters. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rafa, and thank you, Daisy. Okay, so 
Let's continue. Now it's your turn, Nelson. Nelson and Marce. Nelson, you are, look, Marce, Marcia. Please send this. No escuché, teacher, ¿cómo se dice? Package. Please, please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Uh, give me one of those memos, sticker, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new in in interns. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Just this one is pronounced away, right away. That's the way it sounds, away. right away. Okay, right away. okay. now, Jenny, Jenny and Doris. Hello, by the way. So, Jenny, you are Marcia, and Doris, you are Luke. Okay. Gracias. Okay. okay. Please send this pay packet. Yes. Man, and do you need anything else? Okay. Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meanings. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and look, please supervisor, supervisor the new inter. Absolutely. No sé cómo se puede. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Uh huh. Okay, thank you. And this one, Jenny, is supervise. That is the way it sounds. Supervise. Mm -hmm. And this one, right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. Right away. It sounds like one word when you say it. Okay, do you guys have questions about the vocabulary? Is there something you would like to ask? about the words? Questions? My what is the meaning, ma'am? Ma'am, it's like another way to say miss. It's a respectful way to call a lady. It's a respectful way to call a lady. Como señorita. It's, it's a, a respectful way to say it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And Maricela, what was your question, Maricela? In the page, it's como paquete, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Package, yes. And I don't remember the use of the palabra tos. What? Sorry, which one? Um, so they said right away. Uh -huh. Those. Those. Those, creo que se Those. Es solo ah, para those. señalar. It's to point out things that are far away. Es para señalar cosas que están a lo lejos. Cuando es plural. Those. Para señalar cosas que están lejos. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Katia, do you have a question? Era esa misma palabra, those. Oh, ok, those. Recuerden que está that, this, singular cerca, right? This is my phone. And then you have the plural form. For that, this está a la distancia. And, and those es a la distan distancia también, pero plural. So I cuatro, that, this, these, and those. 
No los estudiamos en el módulo pasado. No, sino en este va a ser. Ajá, ok. So, we will continue. Here we have a part where it says figure it out. We will start with Mario. Mario, what do you think about number one? Complete the following commands. Use the conversation as a reference. A memo about the new date. What do we need? Figure it out. What can we use, Mario? The general meeting. Okay, Mario. Um, is is different, but thank you for giving us your yes. opinion. And you, Maricela, what do you think? We have to complete the idea. Tenemos que completar la idea. Pero qué es lo que hace falta? What is it missing? And number one. Mm -hmm. Number one. And use the conversation as a reference. Uh, sería, please, why? Mm -hmm. Please, why? Yes. And they complete the oración a mismo about. about. Please, why, Aha, uh -huh. yes. So it is, please, write. That is what we needed. Uh -huh. Thank you. Number two, Rina, what do you think? Me, one of those stickers. Sorry, can you repeat again? Give me. Yes. Me is there, so only give. Uh -huh. Give me one give. of those stickers. Okay. And Rosie, number three. Yeah. Supervise. Mm -hmm. Supervise the new interns. Very good. Supervise the new interns. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to use commands or they are also called imperatives. That is what we are going to study in this class. I'm going to share with you a video. Voy a compartirles un video. Please watch it. Por favor, véanlo. Y luego vamos a hablar de él. Uh, but give me one moment. I had it here. But in this moment, I don't have it. I'm going to get it really quick. Okay, please click, click the link. It lasts three minutes.
Have you finished? Yes. Okay. So did you did you understand the video? Did you have do you have an idea right now about comments? I hope that it helped you. We are going to study how to give comments in English. What is a comment? It's an instruction. It's an order that you give. Vamos a, a ver un poco cómo dar instrucciones en inglés, ¿ok? Or, órdenes, orders. Ok, we have two options, affirmative comments and negative comments. For example, your boss or your manager gives you instructions. A veces los managers or or Supervisors, they give instructions or orders, right? Las personas que tienen cierto grado de, de poder a veces dan instrucciones u órdenes. For example, uh, let me see. Katia, can you tell me an order that you receive sometimes? Mm, come in, please. Aha, uh -huh. thank you. When you give an order, we don't use the verb, sorry, the subject. We only use the verb. You have two options. You can say, please, please come, come in. Or for example, parents to children, they can say, do your, Homework. This is an order that parents give to children, right? Can you tell me other ideas, otras órdenes que los papás dan a sus hijos? And remember, we don't use the subject. En este caso, yo no estamos utilizando el subject, right? Solo vamos a poner el verbo. So, who has an idea? Any instruction or command that parents give to children? Mm, uh, sorry, Maricela, we hear you. Uh -huh. Okay, that could be one. Sit down. Another possibility. Uh -huh. Sleep. Uh -huh. Go to sleep. Go to sleep right now or in this moment okay yes Catherine. clean your room uh -huh. clean your room or maybe sometimes wash wash the dress uh -huh. wash the dishes is another possibility when you give an order we don't use a subject entonces cuando estamos dando una orden no vamos a poner El sujeto, solo el verbo in its base form, en su forma base, aunque sea tercera persona, okay? Singular, singular nouns or plural nouns. No importa si es singular o plural, siempre va a ir en su forma base. Okay, what about at work? En el trabajo, ¿qué es lo común? What could be orders that you receive or instructions? Um, the, um, Tell me. Como enviar reporte. Ah, okay. Yes. Send, send the report. Send the reports. The, the compras, por ejemplo. O the, mm -hmm. the sales report. Okay. The sales. Uh -huh. This is one possibility. Another common order that employees receive at work. Um, Come, come on in the office. Ah, okay. Go to the office. Rina, do you have a, an idea? Um, um, 
Yes, it will be a possibility. Go mm -hmm. to meeting. Go to the meeting. Okay. If you want to, you can add a complement. Pueden agregarle un complemento. Ahí no hay nada de problema. Check Pero, printer, please. Ajá, check. Or please be on time. De estar a tiempo. Be on time at work. That's another one. So it's an order or an instruction. Usually we use please at the beginning because if you don't say please, it sounds rude. Cuando no le ponemos please, es como la palabra mágica, ¿verdad? Que siempre le enseñan los papás a los niños. Siempre hay que decir por favor. Mm -hmm. So it is the same, use please. When you are going to say the command, so it sounds polite. Okay, it sounds more professional or kind. We also have negative comments, okay? The opposite. If you have negative comments, use don't all the time, okay? Don't. And then you mention what you have to do. Do you have ideas about negative comments that parents give to children? Yashida, uh -huh. I don't can write a part. Okay, yes, that could be another possibility, but in the family, in the house, Rina, negative, negative comments. Um, or babe, um, this could be one. Don't come late the night. When children go out, parents say, don't come late in the night. Don't, uh -huh. don't jump in the bed. Don't jump. Uh -huh. Don't jump in the bed. This is a negative comment. Don't cross the street. Ah, uh -huh. I'm going to complement the idea. Don't cross the street without looking at both sides. Sin ver a los dos lados. Yes. Any don't, other idea? Uh -huh. don't, don't eat in a room. Don't eat in the room. Yes, that's another one. Okay, don't eat in the room. Okay, so there you have negative comments. We always use don't or do not. You can use do not, but we don't use a subject. Tampoco le ponemos un sujeto. If you want to, you can do it specifically. Si quieren, lo pueden hacer así. Sometimes I say, for example, I say, I can say, Rina, Rina, read, please. Ese es un comment, pero no le agrego la S porque es un comment o una instruction. Okay, so pueden decir el nombre, pero no le pongan la S. Solo van a hacerlo así. Or, son, don't play. Don't jump in the bed. No importa que sea tercera persona, okay? You can say the name of the person and then you give the instruction. Do you have a question? Do you have questions to ask? Uh, haremos oraciones con forma negativa, con coma negativo. Uh, ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo así, Maricela? Eh, usted decía que lo podíamos anteponer el sujeto. Sí, sí se puede, pero solo se llama por el nombre y luego esta estructura. Like this, Marisela. And then, don't come late in the night. Ah, okay. Como que tuviera tres hijos, por ejemplo. Pero usted quiere dedicarle eso a alguien en específico. Entonces ya llama por su nombre. Y le da la instrucción. And you give the instruction. Yes. 
We will okay. practice. Vamos a practicar, okay? But I want to know if you would like to ask any questions. No. Okay, so we will start by practicing with Simon Says. I think you're familiar with that game, right? Simon Says. <laughs> Como Simon dice, Simon Says. So I'm going to give you an instruction and you follow it. Okay, I'm going to give you the instruction and you do it. Okay, so please close your eyes. Please close your eyes. Okay, thank you, Mario. Okay, please open your eyes. Okay, please clap. Do you know the meaning of clap? Uh huh. Clap is this. Yes. Please raise your hands. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. Okay. Okay. Please put them down. Please touch your nose. Touch your nose your nose, okay. Touch your ears, touch your ears. Uh -huh. Or the headphones, yes, because you have headphones. Okay, please take out your tongue. Take, a, uh -huh. yes, what Katia is doing. Take out your tongue. <laughs> Okay, please, let's see, please Katia continue. Okay, okay Katia, now you continue. Tú das las instructions. Siguiendo lo, la forma de comandos, right? ¿Qué quería decir la última que dijo, dicha? Take out, sacar la lengua. Take out your tongue. Okay. Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Thanks. so Katia, you please. continue. Mm -hmm. Please. Touch your hair. Okay. Yes, sigo two, two more. Okay. Please. Touch your mouth. Your mouth. <laughs> Okay, that's typical. Okay. One more? One more, Kathy? Please. Mm -hmm. um, One more. Please. I If you don't have any other idea, it's okay. <laughs> don't worry. Okay, so guys, can you think about two comments that you receive at your workplace? Two comments you receive at your workplace or two instructions that you receive in your workplace. Let me know, let me know when you are ready, please. Que le digamos las instrucciones que recibimos, ¿eh? ¿verdad? Two. Yes, only two. Ok. Let me know when you are ready, okay? Teacher, la vamos a enviar en el chat o... You can say it. Do you have them? Ya las tienes, Mario. Una. Ah, okay. When you have both of them, let me know. Uh 
Uh, coins. Coins. You can say coins, Marisol. Or count the money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, what is this? Uh, tramitar. O sería como realizar. Process. Process. What? Process. Coro? Ah, process. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ajá, uh -huh, okay. Mario, you can say check the material prices. Material prices, but mm -hmm, yes. Okay, thank you, Rosie. And I'm going to take the attendance in this moment. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance really quick. So we start with Daisy Mesquita. Present. Thank you, Doris de Castaneda. Present. It is Joanna. Present. Thank you, Joanna. Jennifer Marcela and Jose Mario. Present. Present. Lisette del Carmen. Maricela del Carmen. Present. Okay. Mauricio Castaneda. Minette. Minette Rivera. Mías Regalo. Nelson Alberto. Nelson. ¿eh? Present. Thank you. I'm sorry, Rene. I, I got it here. And Rosy, Rosy Mabel, May, Mabel, Mabel, yes, Rosy. Or como lo pronuncio? Mabel, sí. Ah, ok. En Vladimir, Vladimir Antonio, Yanira Cepeda. Present. Thank you. En Zulma López. Yes, Rafa. No, 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 my name. Ah, ok. Yo pensé que eso había dicho cuando habló, porque luego, luego que le dije su nombre habló. Pero okay. sí se oye como... Uh, uh -huh. Ok, so I got it here. Now, ok. Thank you for the sentences. They, they look ok. Ok, Joana, uh -huh. here, please. Work with my emails. Classes. Ok, sounds good. And Katia, did you send them? Did you send them in the chat? No, pensé que le íbamos a decir. Yes, yes, you can say it. What do you have? Please check the information. Please send me the email with mm -hmm. the information. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Is there somebody else who wants to read it? Hay alguien más que las vaya a leer? Who wants to read them? Uh, Rina or Daisy? Uh -huh. Please li listen, listen to me. Uh -huh. okay. Please tell me. Please tell me what? Tell me about Pero the si reports. No, por favor, escúchame. Ah, okay. Sería solo listen to me in that case. Listen to me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And tell me, tiene que haber algo más ahí. Tell me about the report, etc. But okay, Rina, thank you. Yes, Daisy. Uh, please raise your right hand. Uh, please say hello to our college. Uh, say hello. Say hello to all uh, colleagues. Ah, colleagues. 
Say hello to your colleagues. Ok. Aunque eran solo del trabajo, no sé si le dicen eso también. <laughs> en el trabajo, no. Ok, but that's all right. <laughs> Yes, Jani. Huh? Check the report daily. It's correct. I'm going to I'm going to create some rooms so you can work in the worksheet I sent in the chat. Okay, we're going to work in the worksheet I sent by chat, and you are going to work in pairs. Okay, Sulma, please work with Jani, and then Daisy. Work this time with Maricela, Daisy and Maricela, and then Iris and Doris. Then we will have Marce and let me see, Katia, Marce and Katia. Next, we will have Nelson, Nelson and Rina. And the last one will be Rosy, Rosy and Rafa. Okay, I'm going to explain what you have to do first. Okay, this is the, the worksheet I sent by chat. Part number one, you have to make an imperative. An imperative is a command. Es un comando or instruction. An imperative sentence using don't okay so a negative one and the pictures below i only sent the pictures solo están las pictures ustedes tienen que generar la oración okay créenle un complemento but you have six pictures in total six sentences negative sentences part number two think about five orders or comments parents give to children, okay? Cinco órdenes que los padres dan a sus hijos. And five orders employees receive in their workplace. Y luego son cinco que los empleados reciben en el trabajo. Orders employees receive in their workplace. Do you have a question about the worksheet? Is there something that is not clear? Hay algo que no esté claro? Is there something that is not clear? Uh, for teacher. Uh -huh. For example, number one, um, don't call. Y le ponemos complemento, solo don't call. O no speak. Ajá. Uh, uh -huh. Don't speak in the library. As an example, don't speak in the library. In the library. Mm -hmm. Or in the, for imagine what it is. Which one? The, the one no here. I don't, esa, donde están los piecitos, los piecitos. Puede ser de no caminar en algún lugar. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Tiene que usar su imaginación. Be creative. Así como acá, la última. Quiero ver qué ponen de la última. Okay, so if you don't have more questions, I'm going to open the rooms and I'll visit you there in case you need me or if you have questions, I can go ahead and, and help you.
Hi, Sulma. Hi, Jani. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Eh, fíjese que le estoy hablando a ella, pero no escucha. No, Sulma. Mm. Ah, ¿Será que tiene problemas con el micrófono? Pero le suena el celular o algo y eso sí lo escucho. Pero no, no sé por qué. Eh, teacher, ¿Eh? mire, puede sí, poner sí. el... La voy a hacer yo. Este, la, eh, puede poner las figuritas. Ajá. O enviármelas pues, al WhatsApp, no sé. Lo acabo Hola. de enviar. Zulma, ah, le estábamos hablando. <risa> Creo que estaba ahí. Hola, teacher. Hello. Hoy sí, ya nos escucha. Le escribí ahí. No, ¿Sola? es que Yanni dice que casi que le habla, pero no le escucha. Ah, ahorita sí ya le escucha a usted, ya hace un momento no le escuchaba. Ah, por eso. Sí, por pero eso le escribí sí. al grupo. Por eso okay, le digo. <risa> ok, este, ahí mandé en el grupo ahorita el... el... La figurita. Ajá, lo mandé okay. ahorita. Entonces, Vaya, no sé gracias. si necesitan ayuda o tienen alguna duda. Pues mm. ahorita no tiene directo, no, solo vamos a, vamos a empezar con las, eh, con las preguntas o cuestiones negativas. Ajá, Ajá. ok. ¿En you, Jenny? Do you need no, help? No, teacher. No, ok. No, If you need no, me, let me know. Ok, I'm going to visit another group. See you in a moment. Como, como, quitar, como quitarse los zapatos al entrar quizás hi teacher how are you doing están ahorita utilizando su imaginación por lo visto con sí, la que, no que me preguntó ajá Marisela sí. porque la otra sería como no caminar porque hay piso mojado le digo yo a Day mm -hmm. pero no sé cómo estructurar en inglés Ah, esa es don't walk on wet floor. What? Don't walk on wet floor. I'm going to send it in the chat. Don't walk on wet floor. Mm -hmm, that is the way you can say it. Wet. Sería como, como húmedo, mojado, uh -huh. a ah, húmedo. Yes. Ah, okay. De hecho, algo um, así dicen las a veces en los restaurantes, están unas señales, pero solo dice wet floor. Yo solo me fijo en los conos amarillos. <risa> solo eso, no lee lo que dice ahí. <risa> Cada vez, oh, cada vez, Ah, okay. Eh, I don't know if there's something I can help you with, Daisy or Maricela. Tienen alguna pregunta, algo que no hayan entendido? Mm. No. Daisy. No. No. Todavía no. Okay. I'm going to let you continue in that case. All right. I'll see you in a moment. Thanks, teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, Joa. Hello, Doris. How are you doing? Hi. Is there something sí. I can help you with? Sí, una pregunta, sí. teacher. Si quiere que le haga Doris, porque estoy un poco mal de la garganta. Ah, ok. Este, eh, este eh, por ejemplo, en esta imagen donde está el cigarrillo, podemos poner no smoking o siempre hay que poner don't smoking. Eh, sí, sí existe la que me dice, pero ajá, trate de hacerlo con, con el don't y trate de agregarle un complemento. Puede ser el lugar o la hora. Ajá. Don't smoke inside, inside the company or don't smoke in this area. Ahí ustedes ven que les, ¿qué prefieren? Mm -hmm. Smoke, smoke, <coughs> eh, smoke, este, de letra, de le, 
Deletréenlo. S. M. S. E. O. Ajá. K. K. I. Y no Smoke. se pone N. G. No. Es, es que es como estar haciendo con ING, ¿verdad? Sometimes. Algunas veces sí. Mm, Pero smoke. sí, he visto, he visto <coughs> algunos signs que dicen así. No, no smoking. smoking. Mm -hmm. O dice smoking mm. y el, el sign. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y su esposo, okay. Doris, está bien. Sí, lo que pasa que ha tenido bastante trabajo y se ha tenido que tener, que, que se ha quedado en la oficina. Ah, ok. Ahí le Esta manda semana. saludos. Ajá, entonces. porque está entre, gracias, sí. está entregando algunos reportes. Ah, y, ok. Una información porque aquí andan los dueños de la empresa. Ah, ah ok. All right, ah. entonces la voy a dejar para que sigan. Porque todavía le falta la otra mitad, ¿verdad? Pero cualquier cosa me avisa. Sí. Ok, and I'll, I'll come back. Ok. Gracias. I'll be right back. Uh -huh. En amor, no, 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 no enamorarse, no, no al amor. Don't, don't, don't Hi. How are you doing? No, estamos riendo con eso porque nunca le dije. Por eso la puse. Esa yo la inventé. <risa> 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 Pero ah, quiero ver con qué. qué no está qué permitido. Me... ¿Cómo? No se permite Ajá. Cupido, lo vamos a poner ahí. Ajá, pues. <risa> ay, no. no sé, ay, vean. Yo quiero ver quién, quién es el ganador de la más creativa con eso. <risa> <risa> ok. Vamos a ver qué le ponemos ahí. Ok. No. Do you need my help? No sé si algún, mm. habrá quedado alguna duda o algo que no esté muy claro de la clase. En la, en la siguiente vamos a hacer cinco no. órdenes sobre lo que se le da a los niños y cinco órdenes mm. con los compañeros de trabajo o en el, el, el empleado. Ajá. So, empleado. Sí, cinco son de trabajo y cinco de familia. Uh -huh. Ok. Si y, quieren y ahí, eso. No. Ajá. Teacher, ¿y ahí tendría que ser eh, cinco cada uno o mm. digamos... Las primeras cinco de las unimos y las otras cinco igual las unimos. Como ustedes quieran, ajá, pero ah. como pareja tienen que tener 10 ah, okay. al final. Pueden dividírselos si ustedes ah. no problem. Ah, perfecto, perfecto. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. Solo recuerden okay. la estructura, ¿verdad? Que estamos practicando, el please, a veces es necesario. Ok, um, si ya no tienen ninguna duda, los dejo entonces que sigan. Ok. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Pero lo puede arreglar. Hi, Katia. Hola. Hi, Marcela. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? Eh, ya terminamos solo que teacher fíjese que yo hice la, la de los papás uh -huh. así en negativo. Me confundí porque como vi las imágenes así de partido, <risa> entonces pensé que todas eran así. Ah, uh, okay. Well, it's an instruction. It's okay. So you finish everything. Ya todo está listo. Sin lo último nos repartimos. Eh, five cinco and five. Cada uno. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Do you know how to go back to the main room? Saben cómo regresar al otro room. O si no, mm -hmm. la invitación. Yo, Yo me no les uno en un momento porque todavía no han terminado sus compañeros. Yo voy a regresar en un minuto y reviso con ustedes. Les voy a enviar una invitación. Um, accept it and I'll see you there in about one minute. One or two minutes. Ok. Ok, see you in a moment. Your hands. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Rafa. Hi. How are you doing? ¿En cuál van? En eh, oh. la segunda parte ya. Ah, ok. En, ya casi terminan, entonces. La instrucciones para mí. Ah, ok. All right. In about two minutes, I think that. Yes. Tell me, Rafa. Eh, para decir la, las 
acera de la calle? Uh, el... Sidewalk. La parte donde sidewalk. las personas caminan. Sí. Sidewalk. Correcto. Ah. I will send it by Thank chat. You. Ok. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Ok, so I'll see you in a moment. Ok, in about two minutes. Ok, I'm going to send you the invitation. Okay. Bye. Hello, I'm back. Ok, so Katia and, and Marce, we can start with you. I'm going to share the screen and three and three. Empecemos con Katia. Tell me about the first three pictures and then uh, Marce tell us about the other three signs and so on. Okay, Katia. Okay. Tell me. Sería, don't scream in the hospital. Hospital. Ajá, uh -huh. don't scream in the hospital. Good idea. Yes. Sería, don't use the cell phone in the bank. Mm -hmm. Y la otra, don't smoke in this room. Eh, Marce, continue, please. Don't walk in the garden. Don't pet in the restaurant. Y don't love relationship in, in the work. Mm -hmm. Correct. I was thinking about the same. Just use, it could be no relationships allowed at work or don't have uh, romantic relationships at work. Don't have romantic relationships at work. Okay, it sounds very good. Let's continue. Oh, and, and now the second part. What do you have? Las cinco de los papás, yo. Okay. Bye. Don't scream. Mm -hmm. Don't jump. Jump in the bed. Don't run in the stairs. Mm -hmm. Don't put your feet on the sofa. On the sofa. Mm -hmm. Don't hit your brother. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Y yo tengo, you, uh -huh. please send the emails to me. Okay. Please go to the meeting in time. Please pay attention. Attention. Please give the instruction. Please call the clients. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Katia and Marce. It sounds good. Let me see. Your classmates are back too. So, guys, we are checking. We're checking your answers. So, I'm going to listen just to some of you because of the time, and the others are going to send it by chat. So, in this moment, we continue with Jani and Sulma. Okay, can you tell me about the first part? Jani and, and Surma. Pueden este, decirme sobre la primera parte, about the first part. Sí. Donald is speaking in the place. Donald is speaking in the cell phone. So not speaking uh in his art. Do not accept his art. Do not uh, permit it a pet. La última, okay. no. La, la última no la hicimos. <laughs> no ideas. Okay, Sulma, thank you. Can you take a picture of it and send it to me by chat? Me las manda al grupo. Las okay. quiero leer yo también. Okay, thank you. Okay. 
Part number two. Jani, can you tell me the orders about parents and children? Okay. Uh, please, please eat all the vegetables. Uh, please. Vegetables. Uh huh. Okay. Please get out of bed. Mm -hmm. Please clean the room. Mm -hmm. Please pick out the toy. Pick out the toy. And please, mm -hmm. cl please clean the patio. The, uh, the como what? De... Sorry. The garden? Uh, garden, sí, patio. Uh -huh. Okay, garden or patio. Garden. Mm -hmm. Yard okay. is another possibility. Garden, okay. okay. Thank you. Zulma, the other five, please. Eh, no las terminamos, pero ya ah, ah, okay. So Dígame. you can send them to me in the group. The those ones. Dígame las que tiene y las demás me las manda despuesito. Okay. Eh, please revisar, revisar cómo se dice eso. Check. Check the planning die. Let's supervise the auxiliar. Uh, please check email. Uh -huh. Please attend, attend me. Okay, thank you. Sulma, I'm checking the sentences. Number three, you have to say don't smoke. Don't smoke. Sin el ING. Number three. And the other one use don't have pets. For example, don't have pets in this area. Don't have pets in this area. I will send it if you want to by chat in a moment. Okay, thank you, Sulma, and thank you, Rin, uh, <laughs> Jenny. Okay, now thank let's you. continue with Daisy and Yesenia. Daisy and Yesenia. Hi. Eh, la primera parte. Mm -hmm. Daisy okay. and Maricela, right? Daisy and Maricela, yes. Okay. En la primera, don't speak the library. In the library. Mm -hmm. library. Don't speak in the library. Eh, don't use your cell phone in the bank. Mm -hmm. Don't smoke in the park. Uh, don't walk on wet floor. Floor. On wet. Uh -huh. On wet floor. On wet floor. Uh, don't enter pet in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, don't love in place in the school. No love couples in the school. Okay, yes. Thank you. And now number part number two. Can you tell me five orders or comments parents give to children? Uh, I, and number one, uh, mm -hmm. clean, clean your room. Room. Mm -hmm. um, and second, please wash your Clothes, le pusimos. Mm -hmm. eh, please sit down. Mm -hmm. Please come in it. Please, uh -huh. um, please read the lesson. And read the lesson, okay? Thank you. And at the workplace? Um, please. Send the reports. Mm -hmm. um, please go to my office with, no sé, con, con alguien más, con... With someone else. With someone else. Solo okay. esas dos hice yo. No sé si Daisy terminó las otras, si me puede ayudar. Do you have uh, more, Daisy? Uh, please check, check your email. Mm -hmm. 
please supervise your uh, agenda. No sé cómo se agenda. Agenda. Solamente eso. Ok, but they are good. Thank you, Daisy and Marisela. Now, Doris and Joa. Joa, do you want to send it by chat? Do you prefer to send them by chat? Okay. And Doris, can you help me with the first part? What do yes. you have? Hi. Mm -hmm. Yes, you, Doris. Uh, the pictures. And the picture. Mm -hmm. uh, don't speak in the room in this room. Mm -hmm. Don't use the phone inside the, the bank. Uh-huh. Don't smoke in this place. Don't don't walk. El complemento no lo puse, no lo puse. Don't walk. Don't walk in the garden. Don't walk in, in the garden. Or in the grass, in la grama, in the grass. Uh, don't pets in this area, area. Don't have pets. Don't have pets in this area. Don't have. Uh -huh, have. Age. How? This. No. Uh -huh, don't have, don't pets. have pets in this area. In this area. Don't fall in love in the office. Don't fall in love in the office. That's a good idea. <laughs> okay, thank you. And Doris, did you create comments for parents and children or in the workplace? Yes. Uh, take take the, the shower. Take a shower. Uh -huh. Pick up the toys. Mm -hmm. Clean your room. Bueno, Wash your clothes. Go, go to sleep early. Go to sleep early. Uh -huh. Or go to go to sleep early. Mm -hmm. uh, only in, in instruction. Okay. Ah, uh -huh. uh, yo I sent them by chat too. Okay, Doris, thank you and thank you, Joanna. They are okay. I'm just missing the ones about the workplace. You can the send workplace. a picture sí. if you want to, or you can say it. No sé si las quiere decir o las quiere mandar en el grupo. What uh, do you prefer? Please come in early. Mm -hmm. Please wear a mask. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Wear a mask. Please don't not eat at the office. Mm -hmm. Please wear the full uniform. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Doris. And now Nelson, Rina, Rafa, and Rosy, please take a picture. Rina, you sent in the group. Ajá, uh -huh, I noticed that you sent it. Por el tiempo, los, las otras dos parejas las voy a ver en el grupo. Vamos a continuar con otra activity, okay? But thank you, the answers are correct. Solo los que me faltaron, sí voy a, a revisarlo en el grupo de WhatsApp. So we will continue with this activity. Vamos a seguir con esta activity. It says brainstorm six things your classmate boss needs him or her to do. Okay, it says brainstorm six, six activities your boss needs your uh, classmate to do. Tienen que pensar en su compañero y la idea es que creen seis oraciones Sobre qué cosas el manager de él o ella le podría pedir. Los voy a enviar otra vez al breakup room. En caso quieran preguntarle algo a su compañero. Las oraciones que van a hacer no son sobre ustedes, son sobre su compañero. Like, for example. 
Marisela, sus oraciones van a ser sobre Daisy. En Daisy, sobre Marisela. Van a pensar en qué podría su jefe pedirles. Daisy va a pensar en... Like... Uh, Daisy trabaja en una pharmacy. Ok. So I imagine that your boss needs her to organize the medicine. Like, like Daisy, organize the medicine. Eso sería algo que yo imagino que le piden. Así que tienen que imaginar qué le piden a su compañero. Haciendo de caso que es el manager o el boss, el jefe. Y aquí dice, si quieren algo que sea de el día de mañana. Do you understand the activity? ¿Sí me entienden cómo funciona? Yes. Okay, I will send you again to the room, but this time it's going to be about five to six minutes, okay? Five to six minutes. So please open the room and work with your partner. Hi, estoy leyendo sus um, oraciones. Uh -huh. La primera, ¿qué quiere decir? La donde dice don't roam sidewalks. What does it mean? ¿Qué quería decir? Es, es la que él le preguntó de, de no correr sobre la acera. Ah, es run. Uh -huh. R U N. Ah, es que nosotros le pusimos la O, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, sí, entonces sí, sí. es run. Okay. Es run. Uh -huh. And the other one, please work the orders. What does it mean? ¿Cuál? Donde dice please work the orders. Ah, es este, bueno, a mí me piden que todos los días trabaje un pedido. Ah, ok. Pero, ¿puede darme un poquito más de información? ¿Órdenes de qué? Es que cuando yo le puse que, que, que trabajaba pedidos, me tiró orders. Pero hay algo, una palabra como para hacerlo más específico. For the orders. Licores. Ah. Licores. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. The uh, liquor, liquor orders. Ok, pero está bien, entonces orders. Ok, good. solo que aquí creo que faltan las de los hijos, ¿verdad? Faltan cinco, five sentences. Ah, me faltó una orden. Eh, Rafa no las has enviado aún, ¿verdad? Yo creo que sí se las envié. Sí. Me hacen falta cinco, creo. Ok, but I, I will double check. So, do you have questions about this activity? ¿Sí entendieron bien cómo va a funcionar? Sí. Ok, so I will let you continue, because in a few minutes we will go back there. Ok. okay. Okay, entonces va. Hello. I check, I check the sentences. I check the sentences. I just wanted to give you some comments, okay, to help you. Number three, la tres que enviaron, don't smoke. Sería, don't smoke. And then you can say in this area, for example, don't smoke in this area. Grama es grass. 
Don't enter with pets. Yes. <laughs> la de Don Cupid. Le hace yo le agregué, yo le agregué más. Ya le puse Don Cupid in my life. <laughs> ok. Sí, yo sé que le okay. había gustado. Perdón. Ok. And the other ones are correct. Don't fight with your brother. Esa es clásica. And then, listen to the email. Yes, the other ones are correct. Solo les quería decir que si las leí. Do you need help with these sentences? No sé si necesitan ayuda con las que ya están haciendo. In the moment, no. Okay. So in that case, I will let you continue. Okay. See you in, in a few minutes. No escuché. Yo creo que me va a mandar. Hola. How are you doing? Is there something I can help you with? Ya terminamos. You finish. You are the first team to finish. Okay, so I can hear you. So Katia, tell me about Marce. What did you write down? Ya escribí, ¿verdad? Ella me dijo que era cajera de banco. Y escribí, please attend to the clients. Ah, ok, pero solo que attend en inglés significa estar presente en un lugar, como acá. Están acá. De ayudar o servir puede ser help, help, help. the customers, help the customers of the bank. En restaurante. No serían ah. clientes, no serían clients, sino que customer. Es que es... Es un poco distinto los clientes y los customers. Voy a ver si te envío esa información después, pero ajá, ahí serían customers, la mejor palabra. Uh -huh. Pero si clients es clientes. Uh -huh. La otra sería, please make the cashier close. Como cierre de caja. Ah, ok. Maybe you can say that no sé si inventario funcionaría. Would it work? Please create the inventory. No, Mars. Mm. No. Es que no oh. sé cómo se dice, pero ajá, eso de cierro la caja, o sea, en la noche. Cierro Las cuadro. Cuentas, pero, no. Ajá. Entrego todo para ver si lo que tengo. En físico me da con el sistema. Uh -huh. Entonces, cuadrar le decimos. Uh -huh. Voy a ver si hay algún término que podamos utilizar en este sentido. Y voy a ver. Okay. Si se los digo. ok, next. La otra sería: Please stay longer at the, at the end of the day. Uh -huh. La otra sería: Please count the change. Ajá, uh -huh. count the change. Please be on time in the morning. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. Eh, Marce. Vaya. Ella me dijo que es asistente. Entonces yo le puse, please serve. Serve, ajá. Uh -huh. Please serve. Customers, eso que dije. Ajá. Customers. Please check the information. Please make reports. Please send the emails. Please schedule meeting. Mm -hmm. I think it, it looks good. Okay, thank you. So in that case, we will go back. We have one more activity to go. I'm going to send you, well, I will close the rooms and we will, we will see there in a few seconds. Mm.
Hello, welcome back. Okay, so I'm just going to listen half of you, okay? And the others are going to send it by chat. Okay, this time we will listen to Rina and Nelson first. Okay, so Rina, tell me about Nelson and Nelson, tell me about Rina. Ok, yo le tengo que preguntar a Nelson, ¿verdad? No. Le tengo que dar la... Ajá, yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, Nelson, please send report. Um, please read email the customer. Please supervise the work employees. Please make the box cut in time. Please deliver the remittance without errors. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. And now Nelson. In the, work, in the, in the bank. Uh, Nelson. Ah, he works in the bank. Yes, just the email one, Rina say customers' emails change the order for the position of the words. Customers emails. That will be the correct way to say it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now Nelson, tell me about okay. Rina. Okay. Uh, please Rina, order the product on the shelf. Please. Serves cost, customer well. Uh, and please clean the medication. And please check the product. Mm -hmm. Only. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nelson. And now let's listen to Rafa. Let's continue with you, Rafa and Rosie. Okay, Rafa, thank you. For some reason, I don't know if it is the microphone, Rafa, but I have some problems understanding you. The sound sounds strange when you speak. It's difficult to understand when you speak. I, I don't know why. But thank you, Rafa. And Rosy. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Maybe it's that. Yes, Rosy. What about you? Please check my computer. Please make a sales report. Please check the internet. Please come to meeting tomorrow. Please, no sé cómo se dice, enseñar. Show, show, show. Me. show. And then you Please make show the computer programs. To whom, a quién. Enseñárselos a quién. The college. Ah, okay. Show the colleagues the computer programs. Show the colleagues. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Rosie. Okay. And the other couples, please take a picture of it. Okay. Los demás, mandenmelo en el grupo. Okay. And I will read it there. Okay. I've sent something in the group. Si ustedes ven, acabo de enviar un archivo al grupo. No lo voy a mostrar acá, pero lo pueden descargar para ver qué vamos a hacer. 
it is a board with comments or instructions. I have an electronic dice over here. I have an electronic dice and we will use the comment y vamos a utilizar el, los comandos que están ahí. Depende de cuáles toque, eso es lo que toca hacer. Okay, so let me see. We will start with Zulma. Okay, Zulma, I'm going to share with you the dice. Okay, it says number six. Como dice number six, hay que buscar la casilla seis en el board que yo envié, en, en esa página que les envié. So if you look at, at that, it says one, two, three, four, five, six. It says, shake your head. Shake your head. Sabes que es shake, Surma? Do you know the meaning of shake? No, teacher. No. Is there anybody who knows? Hay alguien que sabe que es shake? Aha, uh -huh. that is what it means. Shake your head. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Okay, thank you. So we are in number six. Now let's continue with. Um, let me check. Lina. Okay, Lina. Number five. So it's going to be seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Whistle, happy birthday. Do you know the meaning of whistle, Frida? Estamos en la casilla eleven. What is the meaning of whistle? No, no, no entiendo esa palabra. Whistle. And you guys do. Aha, uh -huh. that is the meaning of whistle. Whistle, happy birthday. Tiene que silbar. Uh -huh. Happy birthday. Eso tengo que hacer de ahorita. Yes, yes. <laughs> that is the comment. Correct. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Ay, no puedo ni silbar. <laughs> really, you can't. Okay. Vamos a cambiarlo entonces. No problem. Number five, wait. Number four. Okay, walk around the table. Pero no hay table ahí también. Okay, let me see. Number six. Sing happy birthday. Vaya. Sing happy birthday. Un pedacito, a little okay. part. Happy birthday to you. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Rina. Okay, let's continue with Marce. Okay, Marce, we are in the spot number 12. Vamos en el 12. This is your number, four. So we will have 13, 14, 15, 16. Shake hands with two people. Electronically, in this case, shake. Do you know the meaning of shake in that case? Shake hands? This is shake hands. So I'm going to give you my electronic hand. Okay. And now shake your hand with somebody else. Fatal, and choose one more person to shake hands. Katya. Okay. So Katya, shake your hand, please. Okay, thank you. Let's continue, Maricela. Number four. Number four. So we will have, give me one second. Uh, one, two, three, four. And stand up and turn around. Do you understand that instruction? Stand up and turn around. No sé qué es eso. Stand up. Sit down, stand up. Yes? Uh -huh. And turn, turn around. That's la vuelta. Turn around. Así? <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Correct. That is the instruction. Okay, thank you. 
Rafa. Number three, Rafa. Let's see what you got. Estamos en el number, number 20, right? Plus three, 23. Let's check number 23. It says yawn. Do you know the meaning of yawn? Estamos en la casilla 23. Yawn. Or does anybody know? O alguien sabe que es yawn? No. Bostezo. Aha. Uh -huh. That is what it means. Okay, Rafa. Yawn. Aha. Uh -huh. Hasta se le va a pasar a sus compañeros. Yes. Okay, Rafa, thank you. Now, Nelson. Number one. Number one. So we have smile. Smile, Nelson. Okay, thank you for the smile. Let's continue. Katia no ha pasado, right? No. Okay, Katia. Number two. Okay, Katia. Wave your hand. Wave your hand. Wave. Uh -huh. That is the meaning of wave. Okay. I'm just going to take the attendance in this moment. But in that list, Maybe if you can check it later, you're going to find interesting verbs. Pueden revisar los verbos después y pueden quizás encontrar algunos que les sean útiles. I need to take the attendance one last time, okay? And that's gonna be all. Please allow me one moment. We will start with Jenny, um, no, sorry. Daisy Yesenia. Thank you, Doris de Castaneda, Iris, Joana. Present. Thank you, Jennifer Marcela. Present. Thank you, Jose Mario, Katia Gabriela. Present. All right, Lizeth del Carmen, Maricela del Carmen. Present. Mauricio Castaneda, Minet Rivera. Nehemías Regalo, Nelson Alberto, Nelson René. Present. Thank you. Rafael Antonio. Present. Okay. René Guardado, Rina Espinosa, Rosy Meléndez. Present. Okay, thank you. Present La teacher. Thank you, Rina. Yanira Cepeda. En Zulma. Pre no. Present teacher. Thank you, Present Okay. So today uh, is your turn, Maricela. Are you going to be able to stay? Se va a quedar, uh, no. Maricela, su session de 10 minutos. Va yes. a poder el día de hoy. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to stay with you and everyone else is free to go. Nice to see you. Take care. Enjoy the weekend. Have a nice weekend, everyone. Sweet dreams. Bye-bye. Thank you, see teacher. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye, Jenny. Bye. Bye, Marcel. Bye. Okay, just one moment, Marcela. Bye, Doris. Say hello to Mauricio. Okay, one moment, Mar Maricela. Okay, Maricela, how are you doing? Ya cansada, um, me imagino, ¿verdad? Um, little, <laughs> okay. little. A little bit. Ajá. Uh -huh. yes. Sí, perdón, um, ¿qué me decís? Sí, oh. si podíamos hacer un breve repaso del tema de ayer. Del de ayer. De lo de las frequency expressions. Correct. Usually, the es que never. <laughs> okay, no problem. We can check that. Let me just go to the page. Okay. 
Um, okay. I'm going to share the book so I can show it to you. Yesterday, Marisela, we talked about frequency adverbs. Son palabritas que utilizamos para hablar de la frecuencia de diferentes activities. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces aquí tiene la palabra y tiene el porcentaje de frecuencia. Always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, rarely, and never. Okay, can you uh -huh. say it, please? Can you repeat? Okay. Always, mm -hmm. usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally. Uh, what is occasionally. this? Occasionally. Occasionally. Uh -huh. Seldom, hardly ever, irregular. Rarely. 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 Never. A never. Okay. So there you have the percentage. Ahora, como le menciono, depende de la frecuencia de la actividad, usted tiene que utilizar diferentes palabras. ¿Se recuerda cuál era la posición, Marisela? What is the position of the frequency adverbs? Uh, como always go the tour in the Sunday and the Sunday. Ajá. La posición es decirlo como en medio, decirlo antes del verbo, así como lo tiene ahí en esas oraciones. Can you read the examples, Marisela, please? I always get up at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, he usually drives to work. Uh -huh. She normally checks her email. I often had breakfast at work. She sometimes use the microwave. 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 I oh, oh esa palabra me cuesta occasionally. Occasionally. Occasion I occasionally mm -hmm. work over time. She does she we seldom take calls awards. Mm -hmm. He Rarely had conference. Mm -hmm. I never get late to work. Ajá, uh -huh. ok, correct. Ahora, ¿tiene alguna pregunta sobre el significado? Sobre el significado de esas palabras. What it is and the seldom or early, early, rarely. Ok, seldom, hardly ever, and rarely prácticamente son lo mismo. Okay, son como sinónimos. Significan raramente, casi nunca. Eso significa raramente o casi nunca. Vamos a tratar de practicarlas. We will try to practice before you go. Ok. I'm going to show you the activities. Y usted me va a decir la frecuencia con la que lo hace, ¿ok? Ahí va a ir usando, depende de lo que quiera decir, una, una, un frequency adverb. Ok, but give me one second. Ok, um, solo a ver si se acuerda de los verbos, si no le ayudo yo. <laughs> ok, number okay. one, Marisela. Create a sentence. I always clean my room. Podría mm -hmm. ser? Yes, I always clean my room. Number two. Mm, el, verbo, sería como clean. el verbo es sweep. Barrer, sweep. 
Um, I usually no. Of, of, tenés como siempre, ¿verdad? Look at this. Often. Often, ok. Ok, complete the sentence. Ay, eh, se me ha olvidado el significado de often, es siempre. No, hay que, puede ver aquí el porcentaje. Es como el 70% del tiempo, como a menudo. Como a menudo, porque es 70%. Only, only sample, nada más. Como ejemplo, eh, I often sweet, sweet me dijo, ¿verdad? Sweet, con P al final, sweet. Sweet, sweet my house. Así, mira, aquí está. Sweet. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Let's continue with picture 17 about you. Um, no sé cómo se dice tocar la guitarra. Play. Ah, Play the guitar. Play the guitar. Mm -hmm. uh, I. Pues never. I mm -hmm. never play the guitar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Neither do I. And picture number 12. Um, I usually um, oír se me ha ido. Listen to the radio. I listen, listen to the radio. To the radio. I am, okay. Yes, the re radio. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. Picture 14. Number 14. I, I usually, no. I often, yes, uh, seldom, I seldom read a book. Aha, uh -huh. that could be a possibility. Mm -hmm. So that's the way it works. And let's see, number seven. Um, iron, se dice planchar. I don't know. But iron. I, iron. I. ¿Cómo se dice siempre, me dijo? Always. Always. I always iron my, my clothes. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. So that's the way it works, Maricela. Así es como funciona. Se dicen antes del verbo y ahí dice la frecuencia de la actividad. Ya utilizando cualquiera de esas palabras, usted puede decir que tan frecuentemente hace algo. En ahí de ese, se podría utilizar también negativo. I don't, I don't. De, no sé cómo se puede usar no. en negativo también. Podría decir solo I don't iron. Pero sí I podría, ah, okay. pero, pero usualmente utiliza uno la que más le pegue. Si es nunca, utiliza okay. la palabra que dice nunca, I never. Si es siempre, I always. Pero a veces sí. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ok, oh, Maricela. Okay. So, we will stop there. Do you have any other questions? Um, no, I okay. didn't know. Okay, Maricel, in that case, I'm going to let you go. I hope you enjoyed the weekend and I hope to see you on Monday again, okay? So, good okay, night, Maricel. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.